Hey y'all, what's up? My name is Avery and today I'm going to be doing a birthday book haul and unboxing! <laughs> Okay, hello! So if y'all did not know, my birthday was last week, September the 4th, and I ended up getting a bunch of books for my birthday. And no surprise there, I only literally want books. <laughs> I got a few books from my family and friends that I'll be sharing first with y'all, and then I decided to purchase myself a bunch of books for my birthday like I did last year and unbox them on camera for y'all. Let's go ahead and haul all the books my family and friends got me. I forgot to say, <laughs> I turned 21. It was my 21st birthday. I don't drink. I don't like alcohol. It doesn't taste good to me. So, um, I don't drink it. So, I'm not the typical 21 year old. Let's just say that. So, uh, instead of buying alcohol for me, my friends and family decided to buy me books instead. <laughs> so, my parents and my aunt kind of splurge for me <laughs> with, uh, classic editions of books. Barnes & Noble was having their, like, 50% off sale and it always happens on the week or a couple days before my birthday. So they go all out at Barnes & Noble for my birthday. I got a bunch of hardback classic editions. So I'm gonna share those with y'all. First one is this beautiful bind up edition of all of Jane Austen's novels. <laughs> when I went to Barnes & Noble with my mom one day, we were looking at these classic edition books and I said, this looks beautiful, but I don't need it because I have a whole collection of Jane Austen novels already. I unwrapped this for my birthday and I was like, you did not need to get me this. I already have cop copies of all of these books. And she goes, it just looks so pretty. I had to buy it for you. So um, I'm very eternally grateful because look how beautiful this edition is. I have so many of these Barnes & Noble classic books now that I'm gonna have to rearrange all of my bookshelves because I don't know where to put them. I don't have any space anymore. <laughs> Next we have The Snow Queen and Other Winter Tales. I don't know who the author is. I think it's Hans Christian Andersen. I'm pretty sure. I believe this is like the story that um, Frozen was inspired by and I'd never read it before but this just looks so gorgeous. All of these are beautiful and there's the pretty spine and the back. I'm excited to read this one too. I don't really know all that much about it though. <laughs> Next is probably my favorite out of the bunch. We have Alice's Adventures in Wonderland by Lewis Carroll. Well, and other stories by Lewis Carroll. This cover is gorgeous. I am an Alice in Wonderland freak. If y'all didn't know, I love Alice in Wonderland. My nursery growing up was Alice in Wonderland themed. My mom is a painter, so she painted murals all over my room of the Mad Hatter, the Treasure Cat, Alice, their tea parties and everything, even like the little table that I ate at in the kitchen was painted Alice in Wonderland. I was an Alice in Wonderland fiend. So this book is so special to me and I love it. These pages are silver and here is the spine for this one. So beautiful and the details are fantastic and just, just wonderful, just wonderful. <laughs> I'm so eternally grateful to have this book in my collection as well. Next we have Beauty and the Beast and other classic fairy tales. Oh my gosh, I didn't know there was like inside art for these books. Oh my gosh, that's so beautiful. I love this copy. Look at Beauty and Beast. And um, there is the beautiful back of Beast Castle with the carriage running. Oh, this looks so pretty. And look, there's the beast. Oh my gosh. This is just so beautiful. Here's the spine also. You got the beast right there. I am so happy. And it's pink. It's pink. I don't have a pink, pink book. So I love this. <laughs> and the last book that my aunt and parents splurged me on was Wicked by Gregory Maguire. This is another beautiful book. I'm so excited to have this. Look at the beautiful map. Oh my gosh. I've never seen the musical before and I don't really know all that much about it because I love The Wizard of Oz. So I would love to know the origin story to the oh, Wicked Witch. So I'm really excited to learn more about her in this book. And the last classic edition I have was from one of my family friends. She decided to get me Little Women and other novels by Lucy May Alcott. There's Little Women, Little Men, and Joe's Boys. And look at this back. It is gorgeous, the spine beautiful. I am so incredibly happy to have this in my collection. This is my third edition of Little Women and if y'all don't know I read Little Women earlier this year and love it. I think it's one of my favorite classics of all time. Like it's up there with Jane Eyre y'all and Jane Eyre is my favorite book. I cannot wait for this movie to come out. I already told my parents I'm going out Christmas night like midnight to watch the midnight screening if there is one of Little Women because I need to see it and this book just means so much to me so I'm so incredibly happy to have it. Okay so a book that I 
bought on my birthday but didn't get until a couple days later was um, American Royals by Catherine McGee. This was actually a book that um, was at my local bookstore. Um, they had a book signing actually with Catherine McGee and this is personally signed to Avery Catherine McGee. I unfortunately did not get to meet her though because two days after my birthday I had a fever the day that I was supposed to go meet her. I had a fever and I couldn't go out in public so um, I just picked it up a couple days later when I was feeling better. But I'm so eternally grateful to have this book in my collection because this, this is one of my most anticipated reads of the year. I thought it was a romance book, like an adult romance book, but for some reason I saw it in the YA section at Target the other day. So I actually don't know. All I know is that it's a royalty book. I think there's like a love triangle with royalty in it maybe with a prince. I'm not sure. I'd, I'm not really a big fan of love triangles, but we'll see. And I love royalty romance books, so I'm excited for this. I got a few books sent by some of my lovely friends here on booktube. My friend Zach from Zach Tries to Read sent to me Throne of Glass, the coloring book, and, ooh, that's upside down, <laughs> the Lunar Chronicles coloring book, and I'm so, so thankful. He did not have to spend money to buy me two coloring books. So thank you so, so much, Zach. I am so happy and I love these so much, so. Thank you so much. I can't wait to start coloring in them. And then my friend Ashley from Ash Heart Books sent me A Promise of Fire by Amanda Boucher. I think that's how you pronounce her name. It's the first book in the Kingmaker Chronicles. This is her favorite paranormal romance series and I've been meaning to read it for a while so I am so glad that she sent this to me because I'm so excited and I want to get to it. So I don't know anything about it except that it's paranormal romance and I need to get to it heck soon. Next, my lovely, lovely friend Alex got me a copy of Harry Potter and the Goblet of Fire by J.K. Rowling. Growing up, I originally read Harry Potter from my school's library, so I don't have the full collection. I just have books, you can maybe see it over there, one through three in paperback and then one through three in illustrated. And then I just recently got books five and six in hardback for free through my library. I'm very happy about that. She asked me what I didn't have and what I'd want. So I was like, I don't have a copy of The Goblet of Fire and I'm pretty sure it's my favorite book so of the series so I don't know why I don't have it. She got me a copy and I love it a lot. I'm so happy to have this in my collection. All I need is Deathly Hallows to complete my collection and then The Goblet of Fire Illustrated Edition is coming out later this year so I'm gonna buy that one too. <laughs> and lastly, for the books that were gifted to me, I have Well Met by Jen DeLuca. This was a gift from my friend Ruby Ann, so thank you so, so much Ruby Ann for giving this to me. This is a romance book that takes place in a Ren fair and it's hate to love, so I'm super duper excited. Riley from Riley Marie read this and I'm pretty sure she really loved it. I love Ren fairs, I love romance books, I love hate to love, so this is just a recipe for a really good and perfect book for me. Okay, now we're on to what y'all really came for, the unboxing. So I got a bunch of books. <laughs> I got some from Thrift Books and I got some from Book Outlet. I don't remember anything really of what I bought except I know that I bought the first couple books in the Black Dagger Brotherhood series because I don't have them and I wanted them <laughs> so much because I'm like on book seven, eight now. I need them in my collection because they're becoming my new favorite series ever. And I bought, I think, some other romance books that I've read. I'm gonna unbox those right now. Let me start with the thrift books. Okay, this is the first one. <gasps> my scissors! My scissors are okay. First, we have <gasps> Hurts to Love You by Alicia Rye. This is the um, third and final book in a romance trilogy that I read earlier this year. This has plus size rep in it. And I loved it. It was my favorite in the trilogy. And I think I bought the other three books too in this haul. We will see, but um, I'm so, so, so happy to have this in my collection. It looks so cute! <laughs> Next one, let's see. I'm so excited. I've unboxed things in so long. Okay, this one is, ooh, <laughs> Lover Awakened by J.R. Ward. This one, I don't know if you can see it all that well. This is my favorite book in the series. <laughs> this one is about Zadist and Bella and it's my favorite book in the series so you best believe I'm super excited to have this in my collection y'all. I think like one of my shelves here is just gonna be Black Dagger Brotherhood like one whole shelf just Black Dagger Brotherhood because I'm obsessed with them. Yeah this is the third book in a paranormal 
urban paranormal romance series with vampires in them. I love them so much. I've been listening to them on audio. That's why I don't have the physical books. Yeah, if you want to listen to these books, they're all the Audible Romance package. So check them out. I'm super duper excited to have this. <laughs> Next one. I think this one has three books in it. Fit three books in here. Okay, first one. We have The Forbidden by Jody Ellen Malpass. I read... I think it was The Guardian or The Bodyguard or something by Jodie Ellen Malpass earlier this year and really enjoyed it and I needed to read another one of her books. I think this is about like a, a girl and a guy who have a one night stand and something happens. I don't know. This this is a romance book and I've been loving Jodie Ellen Malpass so far so I can't wait to read this one too. This one says, the one night she can't forget the temptation she can't escape. Ooh. <laughs> Next in here. Ooh, okay. Second book in the Black Tiger Brotherhood, we have Lover Eternal. This book is so blue. Wow. It's a little beaten up, but what can you expect from thrift books? I'm excited to have it nonetheless. And this one is about Mary and Rach. I think my eyes are blinded by how blue this book is. Okay, last book in this bag is... <gasps> yes! We have The Governess Game by Tessa Dare. Um, right behind me, right here, is the first book in the series, The Duchess Deal. And this is the second book, The Governess Game. I'm actually in the middle of the third book right now that just came out. The Wallflower Wager, I believe is what it's called. This is a historical romance all involving a governess and her falling for her boss. And I love this book a lot. So I'm happy to have this one in my collection as well. I'm just kind of sad that they don't match though because this one's like a big book here. This one's a big book and this one's like half its size. <laughs> okay, last bag, here we go. We have two books in here. We have, ooh, Hate to Want You by Leisha Rye. This is the first book in that first book that I hauled Hurts to Love You. This is the first book in the series. This is a second chance romance kind of hate to love book that has a lot of diverse, great characters in it. And I love it a lot. The steamy scenes are phenomenal. I'm so happy to have this to display on my shelves because it's so stinking good. And next and last from Thrift Books, we have Lover Revealed by J.R. Ward. This is the fourth book, I believe, in the Black Dagger Brotherhood series. This book is so orange. My goodness, what's up with these shiny color covers? This is about Butch and his love interest, and I really enjoyed this one. I'm so happy. I'm so happy. Look, the spine isn't broken. Oh my gosh. I'm just in awe of this series. I love this series so much. I'm so happy to have these books. <laughs> and lastly, we have the book outlet box that I'm going to be opening for y'all right now. Let's go. This box has been sitting in my room for a month waiting for me to unbox it. So I'm gonna be ripping through this box, you best believe. Okay, we have eight books to talk about today, so yay, eight books to haul. Ooh. Oh, I see a lot of romance books. Okay, first, let's just go with Wrong to Need You by Lisa Ride. This is the second book in that series I was talking about. Um, great romance diverse series, really recommend it. Okay, one that I actually was not expecting is in this box because there was only one copy available on Book Outlet and I didn't think that I was gonna get it, but I did. It is the first edition of God's Grave by J. Kristoff. I have yet to read Nevernight, but they had the first edition of God's Grave and I had the first edition of Nevernight, so I needed this book. I already know that I'm gonna love this series, so I bought the book. There's only one copy available, so I took a chance on it. <laughs> I know nothing about God's Grave because it's the second book, but Nevernight is about like an assassin in a fantasy world, so I need to get on it and read it. I've been meaning to for a while. I'm glad to have this one for when I finish it. <laughs> Never know. <laughs> Next is Close to You by Kristen Proby. Um, this is a romance book. I think this is like a girl who grew up falling in love with like her next door neighbor or one of her brother's friends maybe like when she was really, really young. And then he went off into the Navy and he comes back and realizes that she's not a little kid anymore and he might develop feelings for her maybe. Um, it looks really, really cute. So I'm excited, it's really short too. Next is Easy by Tamara Weber. I have been hearing a bunch of good things about this book from um, Carly from Carly Reads. I'll link her channel down below. She said great things about this book. This is a romance book. I don't know anything about it 
at all, but highly recommended it, so I bought it, you know? <laughs> Next is The Good Luck Charm by Helena Hunting. I read Meet Cute by Helena Hunting earlier last month. I decided to check out one of her other previous books. I think this is a second chance romance involving hockey. All I know, don't want to know all that much. I like to go into books blind, but this looks really cute. The cover is really cute. Next is Best Kind of Broken by Chelsea Fine. I don't know what the, any of these romance books are about. This is a second chance romance years later after high school. She is helping out at her aunt's inn and the handyman is quarterback from high school. That seems cute. Jennifer L. Armitrout blurbed it. I'm excited because I love Jennifer L. Armitrout. The Bet by Rachel Van Dyken. This is a fake relationship, I believe. This woman's grandmother is dying and she gets her um, childhood best friend Jake to pretend to be engaged because she's on her deathbed and she wants her grandmother to think that she's gonna get married before she dies. But I think she ends up maybe falling for his older brother? That's a new take on fake dating. I think maybe the brother steps up and is a fake engagement person. I don't know. It looks really short and really cute. The cover's beautiful. It's under 300 pages, so I'm gonna probably read this really soon. And lastly from this book box, we have The Chaos of Standing Still by Jessica Brody. This is a recommendation from Haley from Haley and Bookland. She talked about this book a lot. This, I believe, is like a winter romance set in an airport, maybe? These two characters accidentally swap phones at an airport, and I think they end up falling for each other. This seems really perfect for the winter time, so I'm pretty sure I'm gonna like check it out in that time, but it was on Book Outlet for a deal, so you best believe I stole it. <laughs> so there you have it. Those were all the books that I hauled for my birthday. <laughs> there are a lot, I'm not going to count them. <laughs> Let's just say there are a lot and I'm going to have to rearrange my bookshelves. Let me know if you have read any of these books because I'd really love to know and know your opinion on them. Other than that, thank you all so, so much for watching and I will see y'all soon with a new video. Bye. Thank you.